Well, here we are once again on the Hot Rod Show, and I'm here with Gordon. Now, you all know Gordon because we've just had a look at his beautiful Mustang, but now we're here in his beautiful barrel nose pickup, your 38. This, this is beautiful, isn't it? Eh? I'd have to say yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. I tell you, you know, red is red as red can be with this thing. It's the the, the depth in this paint in it, you know, in the sun. This is amazing. Well, it's very difficult to put this paint on. It's a translucent paint. What? And it's a Mazda Sol Red. Man, so, so like how, how many layers are on there? Uh, probably five coats of colour. Yeah. And three coats of clear. Clear, yeah. 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 What a... It, it, it is, you know, like, it just explodes on the road, you know, like, li literally, you know, the colour, yeah. it just leaps off the road, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, fire engines would get out of your way. Everybody loves the colour, and the guy who painted it didn't want to paint it. Really? No. He uh, tried to get other people to paint it for uh, him, and nobody wanted a bar of it. Local? Anyway, Tipuki. Okay. Yeah. Red. Red's a good mate of mine. Yeah. yeah. We've become real... Well, he'd done a good job with his namesake. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. I did all the cutting and welding on it, and we did all the finishing. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Now, 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 tell us about it. Now, th this, you, you've, you've done to this what I, you know, I, I see done to a few cars, you know, and mainly pickups and that, but a late model chassis, you know, yes. with the old body on it, and it's like, it's, it's a marriage made in heaven. Yes, it is really, but... On the face of it, it sounds really easy. Yes, <laughs> on the face of I, things. I can assure you, it's yeah. not as easy as yeah. it sounds. Yeah, you, you need a lot of Vaseline and a lot of shoehorns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you, uh, there's a guy in um, Wong Mata had one, a 38 built okay. on a Hilux, and Ray Leask, and unfortunately he's passed away since. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely man. Anyway, I went up and had a look at his and got a few tips and ideas from him. Mm. Wow. So this is... It, it, you know, like uh, pickups, you, you can ride around in cars all day long, you know, but but pickups are, are a special kind of vehicle to love. You, you, you've got to be a pickup person to love a pickup. You really do. And, and I tell you, I was never a big pickup person and, until I hopped in Marie Breden's 57 Chevy pickup and spent a you know, good few hours cruising in it. I fell in love with pickups, <laughs> and, and, and then you have an appreciation for them after that, you know. Yes, yeah, I appreciate that. Well, what happened originally, we were probably going back 10 years, where my wife Claudia and I were getting around the countryside in our motorhome. We parked at the Pippin shopping mall, and a bloke turned up in a 38 barrel nose pickup that had been chopped and everything, a black one. And we got talking with him, and we spoke to him for probably an hour or more. Yeah. He took me for a ride in it, and that was it. That's got hooked on it. So that was the start of it. And I found the body on for this on Trade Me in Auckland. A um, little bit of rust yeah. get there, and it was as rotten as rotten as could be. Wow. But anyway, it's all turned out good. It, it, well, what? How much did you chop? Uh, just two and a half inches. Two, uh, three and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little number, right? You know, but but I mean, you know, like I dare say, you wouldn't want to go more, you know, because your windscreen is just right in it, eh? Yeah, well, that's what I think about it. Yeah. But everybody else is trotting. They yeah. do four inches. Yeah. And for me, I didn't like that too much. Specifically, the back window. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to keep some practicality. You yes. know, cool's cool, but practical's practical. Yeah. I got a mate down Taranaki, and he's got a pickup, and he gave it an 11 and a half inch chop. Oh. As a Bedford, you know, it, it's got windows as tall as the biggest trees in America. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, but an 11 and a half inch chop, you don't hear the double numbers no, very yeah. often in the no. chop. But so this, this, now, now, now your, your, your hood ornament out there, yes. that's. That 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 got my attention very quickly. Yes, thank you for that. And I spent hours and hours and hours trying to find one of those, and in the end, I went to Wong Mata and had a look at Ray's and sketched it and measured it and everything, and came home and made a pattern for the top piece and the bottom piece, and got them cast and cleaned them up and got them chrome. So, yeah, I made those. I'm very proud of it. That, uh, you you should be, you know, because like uh, that uh, sitting here looking at it. It's just absolutely amazing, eh? Yeah. You know, it's it's something to follow down the road. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, t t tell us about your, your, you know, the, the the running gear, the chassis, and everything. Okay, Toyota Hilux. Yep. Torsion bar front suspension, mm -hmm. and I've got a, a Falcon diff in the back, and what else we've we got? C4 transmission and a 302 Windsor with a uh, 
sniper carburetor. Yeah, and, and so so it's a good stocker. It, you can drive from the Cape to the Bluff. Yeah, oh, absolutely. No Isn't that neat? Off. Yeah, yeah. And got a heater in here. Got a mini heater in it. Yeah, but that's, that's there's nothing wrong with nothing wrong with having a heater. <laughs> you know, I mean, heck, you, you know this this thing has been tricked out really well, hasn't it? Yeah, well, got the um, electric windows. And yeah. Central locking. So, so who did all the work for you? I did all the you work. You did all yourself? Well, I didn't do the upholstery and yeah. I didn't do the body finishing and painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you did all the construction and... Yeah, did everything else. Well, it's, it, it's, it, it's so wonderful to have the skill to be able to do that and the, and the equipment to do it with too properly. Yeah, thank you for that. And no. It, you know, on the face of it, it, it doesn't sound much, but, I mean, when you're building it, you have to figure out where everything's going to go. Uh mission to get the handbrake where it is and then the windscreen wipers through here man what a mission the, the cable comes up through here and around through there well and things like that you know you have to think yeah. about and plan ahead what you're look, doing look you, you've got to think all the way for how does the a start and how does the z end you've yeah. got to you've got to have all that in your mind because it's going to affect every little aspect can yeah. we have a look under the hood we certainly can awesome but we So she's nice and tidy under there, Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing really on there that I'd do different, yeah. actually. Oh, it was the, a, lot of, a lot of fun building, a lot of blood, yeah. sweat, and tears. And yeah, music oh, and gosh, that. yeah. So where are you from originally? From your, your local here? No, or? Wellington, Wellington. Wellington? Yeah. Yeah. We moved up here 12 years ago. Okay. Yes. Neat. And um, got involved with the motoring. Uh, people here and yeah it's a neat place. What, what, what got you into cars in the first place? Well even a teenager going to school and that we had cars, yeah. old wrecks and drove them and fixed yeah. them and whatever and then I retired early and yeah in, imported the Mustang of course and yes. it's just growing from there and then as I said we met John at the Pavamara market and that was it for this yeah. and I had time to build it Yeah. and I'm thinking well I was 65 I think when I started yeah wow so yeah wouldn't, that, wouldn't be any older I can tell you yeah <laughs> like yeah, yeah like get, getting things going when you're mid 60s it, it takes a little bit more effort doesn't it yeah eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah no that, that that's I love this thing eh? you know and, wow. and originally they've got uh, mechanisms to hold the bond and that yeah see I've got a bond yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah well they're clunky and ugly and I thought no I'll make it put a stay in there and that folds down nicely on that. That's great. Yeah, that's, works out that's good. It's clever. Very clever. And the power brake booster. Most people would put power brakes in these things. Yes. Put the power brake booster under the floor. Yes. Okay. And there's no way in hell my power brake booster is going. That looks the floor. great there. Well, I'm telling you, there was only two millimeters in each direction to get it to fit in there. Yeah. Well, it looks, it, it, it's made to be there. Yes. You expect to see one there, you know, and, and that's why it's, well, you, you can hide everything if you want, but, but the, the practicality side of things, it looks good there, it fits good there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Now, there's not a lot of room in there, is there? Oh, there's enough. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't look at it too closely. I've got one of the spark plug leaves off at the moment. Yeah, uh, okay. The thing got halfway at the Yeah, I know. Stop. And I think the uh, module on the distributors. But we get to see it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for thing. that. Anyway, we've got to get going on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. So um, okay. we'll wrap it up. But hey, thank you so much, Gordon. Th thank, thank you very much for the same. Thank you, yeah. Thank you for making it a, a trip complete. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah.